Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. Today my sister Miley and I are headed to one of our favorite places, Magnolia Market at the Silos. Let's squeeze out the very last of the fall decor because all things Christmas is just around the corner. We're also taking a peek at the Cedar Chest Antique Mall to see if they have anything since the last time you and I visited. And I'm gonna share some of my finds in a shopping haul, so if you'd like to join us today, Let's jump in. Hey guys, Charlani here. We are headed to Waco today. We're gonna go and hit up, we're going to Magnolia Table, and then we're gonna hit up the Magnolia Market at the Silos. My sister is here. I'm here, yay! <laughs> so we are going to, it's, it's like tradition. Whenever she comes to visit, we always end up going to Magnolia because we just love it there. It's just got good vibes. And before you ask, she would prefer not to be on camera because as I have explained before, there are people who sometimes are like, yeah, I don't want to vlog, right? So, hi guys, welcome. We're going to spend the day in Waco. I'm wondering though, if they might have Christmas stuff up, even just a little bit. And if not, I'm wondering if some of their fall decor might be Let's like see. on clearance. That would be amazing. So let's head over. It's a couple of hour drive. We're kind of right in the middle of traffic hour, so we'll see how it goes. But I think it's going to be a really fun day. I'm going to take you along with us. We started off with breakfast at the Magnolia table and I'm so happy that we made reservations for a Tuesday. <laughs> there was already a really long line out front. So if you are making a trip, make reservations online if you can. We had to wait about 20 minutes. So we spent some time in the little shop next door. You can also place to go orders here if you don't wanna wait. We are waiting for our table and I will say that I was like, oh, it's a Tuesday, it'll be fine. There are so many people waiting outside. So I am, I'm actually glad that we're, we had a little bit of extra time. We just came into the shop. It's right next to Magnolia table. And I just got the syrup, best syrup ever. It is so, so good. So we're just waiting. I think we have about 10 minutes before our reservations. So we'll just sit out here. Luckily, it's a really nice day. So yay for that. It is not 100 and something degrees, so ha <laughs> ha. Breakfast was super yummy, highly recommend. So I ran back into the takeaway shop to grab a couple of the jams that I had passed on my, my first time around. Really glad that I pulled that trigger. Magnolia Market at the Silos is just a short drive from Magnolia Table, about 10 minutes, and there are several parking areas, but I always park on the street and closest to the coffee shop because it's always where I end my day. So bringing home the Magnolia Press Cakes, coffee cake muffins, it's a must. <laughs> so parking on this end just makes sense. We started in the Magnolia Home Store. This is where you'll find rugs, furniture, tables, lamps, bedding and linens, and of course, home decor pieces. This store is one of my favorites. It's just a happy vibe in here and much more open. So it's definitely easier to walk through than the actual market. And I love to see the design setups. It's a great place to get design ideas for your own home. The 
Magnolia Grounds, it's a big space for sure, but you can definitely get through all the stores in a day. Now that church down there at the end, that's a church that the Gaines restored on one of the Fixer Upper episodes, so it's kind of cool that it's there. Um, but there are six small boutique shops, and you really can get through these pretty darn quickly. But I will say, if it's a busy day, it can be harder to navigate because the shops are so small, but, but definitely worth it, I think. Now, each shop has a unique individual flair. This shop has is spa-inspired, self-care type goodies like bath salts and soaps, lotions and oils. It's very fragrant in here too, but in a good way. Like, it smells so good in here. Now, this is a little bit random, I know, but I love this packaging. It's definitely giving me some inspo for the Live Happy Label branding. I love the white and the botanical print. Print. So I don't know. We'll see what we can come up with. And now listen, even if you don't spend all the money and buy all the things, you can get inspo for whatever project you're working on too. So even if I didn't buy anything or make a purchase here, I feel like I still came away with something. Chapter one is the stationery store. Definitely one of my favorite shops. And I'm starting to see a little bit of Christmas stuff coming in here. But spoiler alert, at the time of this recording, <laughs> towards the end of October, they are not full-blown holiday season yet. But stay tuned because you know we're coming back here during Vlogmas for sure. The four other stores are number 16 here, inspired by Chip's jersey number. This has a retro vibe and a really cool place to buy gifts. Another store is called Tried and True. That has leather bags, jewelry, accessories, things like that. And this is Fernie's. It's one of the newest shops. It's curated by Joe's sister, Mikey. So it's a super cool plant shop with a retro vibe. And then there's Reverie, which is the clothing store. Now, when you've passed through the shops on your way to the market, there's a concession stand and wiffle ball field, super fun. There are also lots of food trucks as well. So if you're hungry, there are definitely options. Now in the back corner, there's a seed supply and gardening shop and the garden. So it's easy to miss if you don't look for it or go over to that side. And then there's also the bakery with cookies and cupcakes, but the main attraction is the market. Like I said before, we will definitely come back during Vlogmas. So if you aren't subscribed, I'd love for you to pause me now, hit that subscribe button and bell for notifications. In November, my goal is two vlogs a week. Sometimes we're gonna shop, sometimes we'll decorate, sometimes it's gonna be a little bit of everything in a day in the life. <laughs> but then in December, we go a video each day during the holiday season, and I cannot wait for it. So I'm gearing up for Christmas and I'm thinking about my Christmas village. I'm gonna need some small trees like this, but on this day, they were literally starting to bring out the holiday stuff. So things weren't even priced yet. So we're definitely gonna have to come back.
Now, just down the road is the findery. It's a bit of the same Magnolia vibe, that rustic vintage boutique style goods and maybe just a tad less expensive. <laughs> they had two locations for a while, but now they have just this one huge store and it is super cool. Lots of good finds for sure. Look at, are these candles? Oh no, they're, you oh, put the candle, no, put on, the candle it. on it, yeah. So I just said to my sister, I said, this is a really nice picture if you need something that's really long. I like the colors of it. And she said, yeah, if you want to see somebody pushing a board on my forehead. And that's exactly what it was. When I first saw it, I thought it was a bike. No, Miley. <laughs> what is it? He's riding a bike. That's what it is? I'll tell you what I saw. <laughs> For the record, I'm not the only one. My sister just rearranged <laughs> this oh, okay. area for them. <laughs> well, this, those candles were over here for, <laughs> for no reason. And I'm like, no, those are pretty, look actually. There. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. The Cedar Chest Antique Mall is in McGregor, Texas, and it's just about 20 minutes or so south of Waco. And I was really excited to bring my sister here because this place is huge, like humongous. <laughs> now, I didn't film a ton here because our hands were full, and I don't think they have um, like carts or baskets here, but I found some really fun things this trip. I'm still on the hunt and truthfully, I'll always be on the hunt for photo props, things that I can use in the background when I photograph my husband's shop products like coins, metal detecting finds, silver and copper pours. So rusty textured things are what I'm looking for and it's fun to always be on the hunt. I am obsessed with this cash box, $125. <laughs> We are back. In fact, we came back last night. Miley and I had so much fun in Waco yesterday. I feel like we did all the things. We went to Magnolia Table. We went to Magnolia Market at the silo. So we were able to go into all of our stores. Um, we also went into the antique mall and I have some really good finds from there. So let's go ahead and talk about all the things that we got, but we're gonna start first with Magnolia Table. And I showed you this one, the syrup. If you ever have a chance, or if this is online, highly suggest. It is so, so yummy. Very sweet. If you like sweet syrup, this is, this is gonna be for you. After we had breakfast, I actually went back into uh, that store. The store is called The Takeaway, and I got the peach jalapeno jam. That one's more for Rob. This is the strawberry vanilla jam, and this one is so yummy too. Each of these were 10 bucks, but I think totally worth it. And then the only thing I ended up getting at Magnolia Market was the Daybreak Diffuser. So one of the other reasons I went was for dog biscuits for Kai, which they did not have. But I did go, when we went last time, I got the Linen Diffuser, and it smells absolutely amazing. So this time, I went back and I decided to get the Daybreak, and I will tell you, this smells heavenly. <laughs> it is so good. It is very citrusy, orangey, peachy. It smells amazing. And this one is going to go in the entrance of my bedroom. So good. Then we went to the findery. So they actually had a findery that was right across the street from Magnolia Market. They actually moved and they're just a few buildings down. Maybe not even that, like the uh, the building over. So 
if you're ever looking for a really cool, rustic-y, boutique-type place, this store is awesome. So I got the Mahogany Antiquid Room Spray. This is actually, I got this for Rob, so I'm gonna take this up there to him. And then I also got a t-shirt. So Bella and Canvas t-shirts are my favorite. Hands down, they are the softest. Uh, they don't shrink when you get them, and they last a really long time. But I did get a shirt that says the Findery Home Decor Boutique, so yay. Can, can't ever have too many t-shirts, I think. Then we went to the Antique Mall. We went to the Cedar Chest Antique Mall, and we got some really cool, again, prop stuff, background, sort of like behind the main scene type stuff. But I like that rustic vibe, I like texture, and I really was looking for stuff that had color. I have a lot of metal type things, but I was looking for things that had a little bit more color to pop in the background. We've got this pirate ship, and what I'm thinking actually for this one is I don't love the toning that this has. I think I'm going to spray paint it just maybe a couple of different colors, but we'll play around with this, but I think the shape of it, the texture of that is definitely very cool. Again, for that texture, I just thought this piece of wood was cool. Three bucks. She took the tags off some of the things, but I wanna say this was five or six dollars. Very cool, very piratey, rustic-y here too. I was thinking this with like a tea light and then this on top of it, like a battery operated tea light would be really cool because from far away, like if I have it set behind in the background with a little light in it, it'll kind of look like a lantern, even like a lighthouse. Love the shape of that. When glass is blurred out in the background, kind of like with that bokeh look, this is, it definitely looks really cool. So I think that's going to be really neat to play with. Now all the rusty color, look at this. This is amazing. So 250, this one was 850, but this one was 550. And I figured that between all of these, <laughs> really my, my budget was five to $6 for each piece. So if you add them all together, we were good for sure. We stayed within budget. Now how cool is this scale right here. <laughs> it is amazing. I love this green and it's a green that I don't have. So this is absolutely perfect. And really I can use this in so many different ways. First, obviously in the background for that texture, but if I wanted to set a coin or set something on here, this could be good for just the background here. So lots of different things that we can use for this. Now, this one obviously was not six bucks or less. <laughs> this was a splurge, but I think totally, totally worth it because I can use this for a lot of different things. Now this last piece that I got at Cedar Chest, I had to have this. And this definitely was a splurge, especially for the size of it. But look at this book. Look at that. And this is not the kind of thing that you can replicate. Look at these pages. <laughs> it is absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful so this one was definitely a splurge look at that i mean this is not something you can replicate this is just absolutely beautiful look at that oh <laughs> so good I was setting everything up and oh my goodness. So I actually have three more things. So from the cedar chest, we have this set of books right here, but they're not books. <laughs> it's actually a CD tray, but the colors are exactly what I look for. And to have this blurred out in background, I think is gonna be absolutely 
epic. This is going to be amazing. So how cool was that? And this was $6. So that was one of my favorite finds just for the price and for what it is absolute perfection okay so we also on our way home when we before we got to Frisco we passed through Dallas so we went to an antique shop called curiosities and one of you guys Ellen Kristen thank you so much for that recommendation now I didn't get video footage I'll pop in some pictures because this place was amazing and I'm gonna have to go back but we had all of about 10 minutes to go through this store. So I just kind of went down every aisle and took a look at all the things as quickly as I could. I promise you, we will be absolutely going back. This place was so cool. So what I did come away with was this tin can right here and this was eight bucks and I didn't have anything that had a silver and blue combo like that. So this was perfect. And then I also got this little ink situation bottle, glass bottle. I don't even know if you would call that or consider that an ink thingy, <laughs> but it kind of looks like it could be. And then you just stick a feather in it like that. And I love this. I thought this was very cool too. You know, kind of like a quill and that seems very piratey, organic, old fashioned. And look at that. It's kind of cool, right? So that place was so much fun to go through. And like I said, we'll definitely go back there um, again sometime soon. Thank you so much for spending the day with us. I hope that you enjoyed the video. I hope that as we were kind of going through things, maybe you saw some things that if you're not local, maybe you can find them online. So again, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.